Tuesday 12th of September 2017 we're back in the Von Berke workshop trying out some foam experiments so this one we just tried it clearly didn't expand the other side's magic I mean if, hang on just let me bring it around to a to a I mean reflective position there you go look at that let's reflect on this beautiful oh, stop it <laughs> flip it over and you can just see it just didn't it's expand nice things. on the wingtip here it just failed to expand. Something's missing oh. on one side. <laughs> God. So now what we're going to do is um, now we're going to use the same stuff. The molds we're bringing up or have, are up to temperature. We've got our little handheld thermometer, which handheld tells us thermometer. that our thermometer, our temperature on the molds is 30 degrees. 30 degrees. 29, 31 in some spots, which is perfect. So we've got little chocks in the back. So this time we're just going to do a, a pour. What we think's happened is we're just playing with it too much. We're too spreading it and whatever else. So this time we're just going to pour a bead through the leading edge. Clamp it tight over there. We also there. think it needs more volume to exotherm. Like, more volume, yeah. Like, where we spread it thin, it didn't expand. Like if we put, if I had, you know, about eight millimetre deep there, it expands that much easily. But if we spread it in a thin layer at the trailing edge, it just almost doesn't expand at all. Mm. So that's what this the plan is, a, is. This is a little test section I did on a oh, couple of scraps is, of stuff brilliant. the other day. And another another important thing here is that we've just grabbed some. Um, where are we? Did you hear that? Listen to that. Oh. No thud at all. It's it's like it's not foam. It's plastic. Sprayed the molds with this simple, cheap silicon spray lubricant, and this is magic. It's just completely allowed that to pull out. Even though there's no draft angle on that section there, this thing's as hard as a rock. And it pulled out okay without breaking so we're getting good success with that cool so that's where we're at i'm not sure we'll have any uh, opportunity to film while we do it but the plan is put a bead in here close it up clamp it up this end and then if we can see or hear it coming out the trailing edge we'll pull out the tabs clamp up the other side and give it 20 minutes half an hour we'll get these blocks out to stand it up against oh yeah cool all right back in a minute Oh no, we just separated it. We're just still not getting the expansion we were expecting. Yeah, <laughs> yes. See that silicon works nice as a release agent, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I didn't even put any more on either. No. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, you know, that, that for a core, if you could get that all through, it'd be great, but you'd have to use twice as much. I reckon to get it to expand. I, I do like the way it did flow under the one from one side to the other, and yeah, because it's um, but you know, when you think about it, the, the amount of it, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Like when you compare with that, right, you know, you start off with that much down there and expands up that oh, much. Sorry, just to bring you up to speed, we did a little test mix, so um, we got that much in the bottom of the cup mixed, mixed for 15 seconds. Uh, within one minute it had doubled in size. Was that right? One yeah. minute it doubled in size. Yep. Uh, no, 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 it started no, no, no. to expand at it, that's one right, minute it started. 15 from the beginning of mixing. Yes, it at started At one minute 40 it was double in size and then by four minutes it had reached this height and it had gone actually yes. rubbery enough that you could touch it and it didn't stick. Yes, so it had doubled within a minute um, a minute 15 after we started mixing it had doubled in size. Mm. Yeah, That's very anyway, interesting. Yeah, just um, let me go back to that. That's not a thud. That's almost like ringing. It's very rigid. Very, very rigid. Yeah. Which is why I, I tend to think if you had it inside composite skins, it would it would be really stiff. Not to give you an idea, Don't you know. GP three thirty this time. We try different stuff. Uh, we, <laughs> we put too much in. We put too much in and give it a some leaking out of the front, and then the mold was cracking and popping and carrying on. And we had 457 clamps around it. <laughs> it's it's actually not coming apart as easily as the previous one. Because we got a lot. Of, oh shit! Hell. Oh, 
Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a difference there. Okay. Okay, so. Let me go over this side. Reflection, so we got some. Looks like we got some bubbles. Bubbles hey Dave, the edge there. You, know, you know, this is interesting because you know how this is flared out on the edge of the flange. Yeah. It actually had crushed together pretty well on the, the leading edge. Yeah, so it had actually gone like that. It's a bit thick there. Yeah, that is, yeah. But, um, but geez, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah, look at the air trapped in here, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think as it gets up and gets a bit thin as well. That just needs some more release agent on it. Yep. Mind you, see, the thing is, if we were doing this under a, a composite skin, none of that would really be an issue. It's still enough of a core. And yeah, I, I don't think I'd like to have that sort of bubbliness, bubbliness no. in there. And then that brings me then to the question, again, do we do one on the leading edge? Mm. And see how well it... Oh yeah, I suppose we should lift it out of the second half and see how it looks. <laughs> Challenging. Look at that. Jeez, uh -oh. <laughs> I gave myself a good whack there. Well, French PU removal tool. I've got a screwdriver, it looks just like that. <laughs> Sticking here, so I'll just get my hand out of the way. Oh, there we go. Nearly there. Look at that. That's weird. That's the side we poured it into. That's a trailing edge. That's got a. Oh, that's not a big bubble, it's, but it's definitely. See, this is the thing. It's, it's very inconsistent, isn't it? That all these patches of mm. weakness here. So the other material was more consistent yeah. in its density, but it yep. just doesn't expand enough. Mm. That's the weird effect it has. It gets a like, plasticky skin and then sometimes very aerated and like that. One side will be more dense, like that, and harder, and the other side is, is more <coughs> bubbly. Hmm. Okay. Weird. No, I thought that was going to be a really 100% fill, but we've got problems with the quest. still with air gaps. The quest continues. That that's really got me confused. Oh, you know what this might happen? Oh, you know what this might be? Do tell. Yeah, you know how the mould started to bulge under expansion? Yeah. And then we crushed it down harder again with the clamps. Mm -hmm. This may, may represent where it had come out and we've squished it back in again. Don't know that it really makes a lot of sense to me, but we did do that. Hmm, that's actually a ridge, isn't but it? But you think that would be the other way. you think it would have like the appearance of a flat bit which is then squashed down rather than a bit that's messed down. That's actually a ridge. Yeah, and it's very shiny, which makes you think that it was actually in contact with the... with the surface. I do not understand. No. Uh, now that there's was... The, there's the ridge, you can see it, look. 
Is that that's not in the mold, surely? Oh, you know what? It is. We it's bloody have, cracked the mold. We have wrecked the mold. We have destroyed the mold. Oh, I no. thought I heard it cracking. Oh, that's sad. <sighs> well, I guess that's what we do is to discover that has totally ruined the mold. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. That's um, terrible. It's probably a bit hard to see in the video, but there's actually um, there's a there's a step in the mold. That was the cracking we were hearing. Mm. That's, yeah, that's it's along. It's sort of along the line of the end of the reinforcement here. Wow, yeah, yeah, about that. Well, there you go. I think it might be time for beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm just that's uh, nine minutes fifteen. I think I'm going to leave it at that for the moment while we go and have a little sulk. Yeah.